It's, it's 21st century, and we still face rampant racism, although after centuries of struggles, we're still here, and that's what I want to talk about today. I'm looking at all your faces, and you're going, dang, I thought this was a comedy show, not a TED talk. Don't worry, I will try to make this into comedy, okay? I just want to make the argument that racism, racism is dumb by celebrating sperms. Yes, the sperms, the sperm that became you. It became each and every one of you, and there are 100 trillion others that, you know, who didn't make it. Now, <laughs> now, <laughs> An average number of sperms in one ejaculation is 100 million. That means even if one miraculously makes it to the egg, there are 99,999,999 other sperms who are your fallen comrades. Even before facing these incredible odds, the sperm needs to go through a series of challenges that are specifically designed to kill them. So, let us put ourselves in the shoes of a sperm. Can you guys all do this? Put yourself in the shoes of a sperm. Close your eyes, imagine yourself being a sperm. You are a sperm now. Challenge number one, Kleenex. Tissue paper, where the heck do you think most of us will end up in? <laughs> yes, gross. Because your father didn't at least prepare the proper grade for you. Every sperm is sacred. Exactly. Every sperm <laughs> is sacred. But here's even, here's even a worse scenario. Challenge number two, random surfaces. Because your father didn't even care about where you will die. I'm talking the floor, the ceiling, the table, the legs of the table, windows, curtains, car seats, toilet seats. It's a fast. Car seats, toilet seats, you know, uh, porn magazines, computer screens, and your mother's face. Yeah. And as a sperm, as a sperm, you will hope that your mother's facial skin is moist because that way you get to live a few minutes longer. Sperms live in warm and wet places a bit longer. I did my research. Challenge number three. Um, what was challenge number three? There's not a whole lot to, to talk about there in challenge number three, but I'll skip to challenge number four. You did make it into the female vagina. That is the right place to be. You're meant to be there. But you will hit the glass ceiling that is always designed to hammer you down no matter how hard you try to reach the top because uh, specifically that one is made of rubber and you're trying everything you can to reach the top but it's just designed to kill you. So, those are the challenges that you face but yet, yet you overcome all those challenges and congratulations you reached oh no, not really actually. What you did is that you did go through it and if against all odds, maybe now finally you are born. But here's the thing. Um, here's the thing. Now, I totally went blank talking about sperms. But remember, you're hoping a sperm. <laughs> what I wanted to get at is some people feel that they're not happy enough that they exist out of that incredible odds. And what I'm getting at is that they think they are more entitled to their race than others. And what I think is, what I think is, I think you should be happy that you didn't land on Phoenix. <laughs> <laughs> so my conclusion is that I never did it. Thank you so much, guys. You guys are amazing.